Hello my viewers, it's Adelike. I'm back again to teach you a small beautiful mnemonic on how we treat and manage patients that have myocardial infarction. On the left side of the page, I've shown a picture of the heart and which arteries, whether the LAD, the left circumflex, right coronary artery, posterior descending artery. Myocardial infarction, as everybody knows, it's predisposed from people that have coronary artery disease, usually from a plaque that ruptures to from what? A thrombosis, which is a fancy name for a clot. We always try to drink you. It's just a clot, right? It's a blood clot with platelets, fibrin, with what? With red blood cells in there. Now, when you don't have perfusion to the any of the tissues, the cute little heart is going to die. Well, when the heart dies, you don't want that. But the problem, it does happen all the time. It's the number one cause of death in the United States. So in the hospital, they always give these dosages. They always give these medications. So what do we say? The mnemonic I came up with what? Obama sings. You know what? I've seen Mr. Obama sing once. It's pretty cool. But you know what? We don't care. We just want to learn medicine, right? No matter how we're learning, who cares? So the first thing we want to give them is what? Oxygen. Beta blockers. Remember, beta blockers decreases mortality. Very, very important, right? Beta blockers is going to decrease their blood pressure. It's going to decrease their heart rate. It's going to decrease their what? Their afterload. You want to give them aspirin. Aspirin is what? It's an antiplatelet, right? Antiplatelet. So decrease thromboxane A2, decrease ADP. You don't want the platelet to be aggregating. The last thing you want is the little pipe that's already clogged up to get keep clog clogging up, right? We don't want that. The patient is in chest pain, crushing elephant on my chest, elephant on the chest. I don't know who goes around having elephants sit on their chest, but you know what? When people have MIs, that's what happens. It's an impending doom. Problem is, you want to give them what? Morphine. Remember, morphine can cause an histamine release. And it can cause what? Venal vasodilations of their blood vessels. So it can decrease their blood pressure, but also can really what? Pain. You have to put them on ACE inhibitors because ACE inhibitors are also gonna, it's gonna decrease their blood pressure, it's gonna decrease their what? Afterload. Prevents what? Vasoconstriction over their blood vessels. And also prevents heart remodeling. Convey law. It's a good one. Oh, that's actually the blade blocker. So we take that back, right? ACE inhibitor lysinopro, right? You can give them statins. Ah, statins. Statins are really good stuff, right? You want to decrease their what? LDL. You came from the what? The cheeseburger from McDonald's. Ah, stop eating that stuff. Eventually, you're going to eat enough of them to be able to form a nice, beautiful plaque in their arteries. So you want to decrease their what? LDLs. Because remember, it's the macrophages that's eating up all this what? LDLs forming foam cells. Smooth cell proliferation that forms a plaque eventually. You want to start them with heparin, right? Heparin is going to what? Help antithrombin 3 to prevent you from doing what? Clotting. Remember the clotting cascade? Go watch the video. I've made one on that. And because of them, it's going to sing. I'm going to give them sublingual nitrate. They pop it into their mouth. It dissolves. It causes what? Vasodilation of their coronary arteries. It's also going to vasodilate what? The venous system. So it decreases preload, it decreases the heart, it decreases the work on the heart, so the heart doesn't have to work too hard. And that's basically it, guys. Eventually, you better take them to the cath lab so we can open up their coronary arteries, either by stenting it, right? That's the job of the cardiologist, not my job. My job is to teach you mnemonics that can make you remember this stuff, all right? Till I see you again next time, remember Obama sings. That is a mnemonic for today. Obama sings. Is the mnemonic and that's what we give for patients that have myocardial infarction courtesy future teaching physician llc till i see you again thank you for watching my videos i love you guys have a great day bye bye